Welcome to the broadcast. I am Ashley Mazuri. Our sign language interpreter is Demin Evans. The top candidate in this year's Kenya Certificate of Primary Education exams scored 428 out of 500 marks. The candidate was among some 8,000 candidates who scored more than 400 marks. On the other end of the scale, 2,060 had 99 marks and below. According to the results released earlier than usual by Education Cabinet Secretary Ezekiel Machogu, the number of candidates scoring 400 marks and above dropped by about 1,000 compared to last year. As Shadrach Miti reports, there were just two cases of exam malpractice. The 2023 KCP exams, the last in 39 years, had a record 1.4 million candidates compared to last year's 1.2 million. However, with 2023 results showing a slight drop of about 1,000 candidates who scored 400 marks and above from last year's 9,443 to this year's 8,525, there is a feeling this year's results were not as impressive. I think 2023 exams has come out to be not very well performed. The other year was better. Of course, I don't know the reasons. Uh, we are yet to know. I think as analysis of these exams are released, we'll be able to, to understand why the performance went down. KCP has served as well, uh, but mainly it was aimed at uh, placing children in Form 1, and that is why the stakes have been very high. We've had a good run. We had only transitioning from a structure of education that has served us well for four decades to one that will serve us even better. It was especially notable that while 352,782 candidates had between 300 and 399 marks, 658,278 had between 200 and 299 marks, while 38,000 others scored between 100 and 199 marks. And finally, 2,060 candidates had less than 99 marks. This translates to about 700,000 candidates out of 1.4 million who scored between 99 marks and 200 marks. The government says the decision to release the results early is meant to give parents ample time to prepare for Form 1 transition next year. That. The greatest highlight of the results are just two cases of malpractice reported. And while the culprits were guilty of floating exam rules, Nick says the only punishment meted on the two was to score them zero in the subjects they were caught cheating and not cancel their entire results altogether. The good thing with KCPE is that all we do is that you get a zero in that particular subject where you are caught in the malpractice, but you are scored for all the other subjects you get your certificate and you proceed to secondary school it doesn't stop you it has been a long way and also we congratulate the examination council and the ministry for having an examination which is uh, almost 100 percent clear of uh, irregularities this is kama kamati tutakuja tu kwa kuiangalia kwa sababu hii ni oversight yetu tutakuja yangalia the whole process again kuona vile ili the administration all back up results uh, in the tokaje out of the 1.4 million candidates, 721,544 were male and 685,017 female. Furthermore, 205 candidates comprising of 125 male and 80 female who were not registered were allowed to sit the exams. Ten counties comprising of Mandera, Garissa, Turukana, Wajir, Machakos, Nyamira, Samburu, Baringo, Nandi and Makweni had a significant entry of more males than female candidates. Isiolo County had more female candidates than male. Meanwhile, Baringo, Wajir, Bomet, Garicho and West Pokot had the highest number of candidates aged 12 years and below. While Garissa, Turukana, Kwale, Kilifi and Mandera had the highest number of candidates who were 18 years and above. Once again, female candidates performed better in languages as their male counterparts excelled in sciences and mathematics. The two genders, however, performed comparably in social studies and religious education. Shadrach Miti.
KT News. Michael Warutere is the best performing student in the recently released KCP examination.